With Uganda's foreign exchange reserves falling to just $3.5 billion at the end of April, the country's central bank is turning to another traditional hedge against uncertainty, gold. Our capacity to mobilize currency was being constrained by factors beyond our control. But then we looked at some of the non-currency reserve assets like gold. We saw that we, we were told that there were lots of gold deposits in the country and there were lots of uh, refineries in the country. So how can we work together to see how we can get that local gold mined, refined, and then we are able either to export it or use it as part of the reserves? According to the central bank, the program will also be beneficial to artisanal miners from whom gold will be purchased directly. Right now, they are selling this gold maybe to you know, to middlemen who are not giving them a good price. But if they are guaranteed of domestic market, we can guarantee them maybe good prices that are market friendly. Gold has recently become one of Uganda's biggest exports, with shipments bringing in about $2.3 billion last year. Uganda now joins a host of African countries that have turned to gold to make up for their reserve deficits. Economists say the trend could help reduce the heavy debt burden many African governments are struggling with. <laughs> South Sudan, Ghana, Nigeria and even Madagascar have all introduced domestic gold buying plans recently. These programs can, in turn, help to develop a country's mining sector. Mineral development is another growth accelerator that has been earmarked by government to expand Uganda's economy by tenfold. It is going to support resource-based industrialization in two light manufacturing and high-tech exports. Uganda's gold rush is all about weathering geopolitical storms that threaten to shock developing economies. But how much gold actually makes it into the central bank's reserves depends on how fast Uganda's nascent mining sector can grow. Leon Sanyange, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.